Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part of a video hop to celebrate Catherine Pooler's newest stamp of approval release, Home for the Holidays. We are having a giveaway, so if you go into the description box and follow along with each link for every video, comment and subscribe, you will be entered to win your very own stamp of approval collection. The winner will be announced on Monday, September 24th on Catherine's blog, and you have until Thursday, September 20th to comment to win. So let's just go ahead and get right into what I've created today. For today's project, I will be using the Festive Trimmings and Holiday Mix stamp sets. And this piece of cardstock is cut to three and a half wide by five and a half long. So it is the same length as an A2 size card base, but it is quite a bit thinner. And you'll see why in just a few minutes that I've decided to do that. I'm going to be using three different acrylic blocks to do my stamping today and also three different shades of Catherine Puller inks. I'm going to be using spruce, peppermint scrub, and rockin' red. My idea for this card is to stamp out a mistletoe ball, uh, those things that you hang like right in the doorway and then you give a little kiss under. So I want to start off by making my string to make it appear as if it is hanging and I'm using a zig real color clean real brush clean color marker to create that string image it's really just a little line and this lets me know where I should start the top of my ball and where I need to start stamping so because I'm using all of these different elements to stamp and I'm sort of creating my own pattern and my own shape I want to use these different acrylic blocks so I can sort of get a feel for where I want each image and each spruce bow to come in and it makes it easier rather than using a misty for me for these types of or this type of stamping because I'm able to physically see where I need to put the next stamp and also it's a little bit quicker just to pick up a block and ink it up and then stamp it right on the page. So as you can see I'm sort of creating this circular or not perfect circular but a a circular type of image or ball and I don't want it to be perfect like I said I don't want the lines to be perfect so I'm just making sure that I bring some of those branches and boughs out a bit so that it looks like it's actually been put together sort of by hand. Once I'm finished with that I'm going to use this berry stamp with the peppermint scrub and I'm going to stamp it into the open spaces that I left and some on the edge. And this is going to appear as there are berries or as if there are berries in the mistletoe ball itself. There's really not too much rhyme or reason to where I'm stamping these, just sort of where I see fit. And I think that in my personal opinion, I think I might have put maybe a little too much, um, but I was really happy with the red coming in, so I wanted to go for it. I am going to use my Mini Misty to stamp my sentiment because it helps me to line it up. I'm going to use a simple, super simple, clean sentiment, just the with and love stamps from the uh, Holiday Mix Sentiment stamp set. And I'm stamping the love word in rock and red. I first go with peppermint scrub and then quickly change it and realize I wanted a much brighter red. Now I'm just fixing the word with right above it. It sort of fits right into where the top of the L and the rest of the word ends at the top. And so I just put it right there and I'm going to stamp it with some Versamark Onyx black ink. And I think that gives a really nice look. It's really clean, which is what this card is all about. Very simple and clean. But there's a little something that needs to go with it. So I'm going to use this fork and this large red ribbon or wide red ribbon. And I'm going to create this bow. I wanted to show it on camera, but I am not very good at it. So I'm going to link the video that I used to create the bow with the fork in the description in case you don't know how to do that. I just don't think I'd be a very good teacher. It took me quite a while and it actually didn't come out as great as I wanted it to. Um, but I did try again just in another variation of the card that you'll see at the end of the video. 
So to adhere the card, I'm sorry, the bow to the card front, I'm using Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and I'm putting glue both on the back of the bow and to where I want the bow to be adhered on top of the mistletoe ball. This is a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half red cardstock, and the reason that I cut my card front much thinner was because I wanted this red to poke out of either side or peek out of either side, the left and the right, but not the top and the bottom. I just sort of think that that goes along with a ribbon theme it looked like to me, and I think that it just looks happens to look really good with the image itself. I'm now going to use some glue again to adhere this to an A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And so again, you'll get just the white of the card base peeking through the left and the right of the card. So here is my completed card or card set. I wanted to do a bit of a variation on it without the matted background, just so I could see how it would turn out. Originally, I thought that it might be a little plain with just the white, but I actually quite like the way that it turned out. Obviously, my bow on the left was the better attempt of the two, uh, but I really love the way that all these stamps work together and that you can create your own Christmas images with them. As always, links to my blog, Instagram, Pinterest, and the stamp of approval collection are in the description. Again, please be sure to follow along with the link and comment and subscribe to all the videos for your chance to win your own stamp of approval collection. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.